Me na we we, tu eke issues mbele, tu eke Kenya mbele. Other systems which ensures that we embark on credible, free and fair elections. And I want to say our laws, elections laws, including the IPC Act, provides for mechanisms for resolving dispute. So in this regard, there are three committees which the Commission used to resolve various disputes. One, there is what we call Dispute Resolution Committee, which is composed of commissioners, chaired by the chairman of the commission. And basically this committee, what it does is to address issues which arise from political, from registration of candidates to participate in elections. But remember, prior to that, there is a tribunal called Political Parties Disputes Tribunal, which first deals with disputes from candidates during primaries. And it's only after they fail that those disputes come now to DRC during uh, registration. And it costs that to a site that if one is not satisfied with DRC, that's when now it moves to court. And there is the Judicial Committee on Elections which handles those issues. The second committee, there is a committee called Leadership and Integrity Committee. This one mainly deals with the issues of Chapter 6 of our Constitution and includes even the issues of impeachment where one has been impeached. And you know this is an article which um, that committee is in force, but this time we didn't have major issues on that uh, committee. I think we dealt with few, not more than 10, on issues of integrity. But remember, this is another section which has been very, very difficult to enforce. You can recall there are people who are impeached. The issue is in court. And then also the issue of people who have maybe pending cases over six months, but they have to fight because the law says until they've succeeded all the systems of appeal, they have they have that leeway to find. And the final committee of the, of the commission is called Code of Conduct and Compliance Committee. This committee was chaired by our chairman before it was suspended in court due to a case of a candidate which had appeared before the committee. But despite that committee, it actually, that committee addresses the issue of election offenses. We have Election Offenses Act. Take time to read it. It includes hate speech. It includes even um, using money not uh, properly. So take time to read it, but it falls under the Code of Conduct Committee. But remember, as I said, it was suspended. And the next hearing on the case on the same is coming up on 4th of July. 2022, which will be after elections. So it will not have any impact now during this process until elections. But as a commission, it doesn't mean that uh, when there are issues or election offenses which are committed across the country, we are not alive to them. We take them and forward them to ODPP to investigate and to prosecute. So we have those systems those committees to ensure that actually credibility of election is not in question. Another um, aspect which uh, the commission has put in place, sorry, which has put in place is um, our officers. Remember, we have permanent employees and temporary poll officials which we've just recruited, over 300,000. We have in place systems whereby those employees which we have trained and they are going to conduct elections, they are also answerable to what they are doing. 
including up to us commissioners. So they take out of secrets to ensure that they preserve the secrecy of the vote. And also, they subscribe to the code of conduct. This one is all election officials, political parties plus their candidates. It's, it touches on them also. Our media, we've had an MOU with them so that everybody, they, we have fair coverage and that everything we do is in line with the law. S observers, I believe even when you are feeling to participate here, you subscribe to a code of conduct. So all Kenyans plus those people responsible for conducting elections, everyone is responsible starting from the clerk to the commissioner. And if anyone does anything which is not as per the law or as per what they've been given or what they've signed to, they'll be answerable. Remember also, commissioners, we took an oath of office. Commissioner, which, I'll give you one minute to wrap up. Uh, let me, <laughs> no, uh, I think I've not finished. Let me just say, uh, be very fast. Yeah? Okay. So because that is one. How many there minutes? is another issue which we've, um, How which many we've minutes, ensured that it is uh, critical. Time? How many minutes do I add you? Just two, three minutes. Okay. I'll be very fast. <laughs> uh, so another minutes. issue is results transmission. As you know, our pilot papers, our um, forms which are used, results forms, have security features, up to eight of them. Some you can see through naked eye, some you cannot see. There is transparency also at the polling station, whereby agents, political parties, everybody within the station are allowed, including the media, to take an image of the results which have been tallied and announced so that there's transparency. Also, at the polling session, we put the register, poll register, of candidates outside seven days <coughs> to elections so that Kenyans know where they are going to vote. So there's transparency, even in uh, transmitting results, which we do especially, it's only for presidential, it's transmitted, and also those physical forms are taken to the tiling center for transparency. Um, also, there is another issue which is a measure in place. Those people who commit election offenses are liable for prosecution. You've heard we take them to other people, and so the people can be prosecuted. Another issue is to do what we put in place is the security of our materials and staff. If you heard the IG speak when he stood up, he talked of even escorting pilot papers from airport to the, to the, to the warehouse and to the consensus. So that credibility bit, the media, the media the other day we had an engagement, it's been covering. So I can say the credibility of the electoral process is not in question. We've tried very much. We are following the law. We are doing everything what is provided for.